Good afternoon everyone. So it is currently almost half two in the afternoon and it is Saturday the 8th of February and this Saturday is probably going to be like one of the last like Saturdays that I have free in in a while. Most Saturdays I do spend with my boyfriend um, but this Saturday I just I kind of decided that I needed the day to do some a bunch of self care stuff, um, but I actually ended up having more of a mental health day yesterday, so I have um, freed up a bit of time for today. So I have been editing and exporting like all video stuff um, for my previous writing vlog this morning, and and the reason why I'm, I feel like really rushed is because. I'm wanting to do the Pomodoro technique. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be a bad thing if I decided to start like five minutes, but like I want to start in a, in a minute. <sighs> but I did quickly like, want to go through like what the Pomodoro technique is. So my first Pomodoro is now done and complete and yes my phone is in the background because I was, use, I was using it as a timer and now I'm just kind of writing down um, my next kind of like Pomodoros. So I got, I've just done uh, my first one so 14.30 to 14.55 I've done that so I can take that off. I, I'm actually going to use this next one as another kind of like college task. Thing because I have done, have added quite a bit to my like college essay thingy, evaluation thingy. I'm actually gonna get back to my college work and there's actually some chocolate brownie ready because my mum has been in the kitchen <laughs> all day, which I say all day, it's like it's only mid afternoon. I guess, but she's been baking and cooking. Twenty-five minutes later, and I am now done with my second. I want to say sprint, but it's it's a pomodoro, and I'm actually just grabbing my bits for writing because. I think you'll be very excited to know <laughs> I'm now actually going to write for the next for the next law basically Right, so I've now got my manuscript up. I've got my phone timer next to me. I have got a brownie, my writing session sheet, and my headphones. And it's time to get started. So it is all my wow, it's fast approaching half four because 16.29 and I just wanted to come on here and quickly update you. So I have now done two writing Pomodoros, as in like book work, actually writing the first draft and I am now on chapter 16. My 
first draft and like I said I've done two like first draft Pomodoros. The first one I got 484 words and the last one that I've just done I wrote about 710 words which is pretty good actually and I was kind of surprised when I saw just how many words I'd written. So I'm feeling really good. The reason why I'm carrying on is because I've only technically done two writing ones and plus I don't really want to stop. I have done five Pomodoros in a row when there are only meant to be four in a set, not five. <laughs> Do I recommend other people doing it? No. I recommend taking a break after the four, like a longer break after the four. It's now, it's just gone five. So <laughs> I am now taking a proper half an hour break and you're probably gonna be like what the fuck are you doing to yourself when I tell you that I'm basically just going to sit in front of my laptop again watching videos yes because that's what I consider a break It is now almost half five and I am gonna get back to writing. I have no clue how long I'm actually gonna write for. <laughs> I say I have no clue how long I'm writing for. I am gonna be writing for 25 minutes, but I don't, I think I'm only gonna do two like Pomodoros. Is that what you even call them? I don't know. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two and then if I feel like doing a third one, I will. But after that, I do really want to get some dinner. past six and you're probably wondering shouldn't you be writing right now yeah I probably should be but there's been a slight change of plans which means that it completely threw me off when it happened because <laughs> my sister and her boyfriend have gone to get themselves a McDonald's for dinner so naturally my brother wanted one as well and so <laughs> I decided that you know I was just gonna have one as well you know Less time in the kitchen making my own dinner, <laughs> which I'll probably just end up having tomorrow now because what I was going to have was cheesy pasta with bacon and sausage. But now I'm having McDonald's. So that completely threw me off when my mum came in asking me if I wanted anything um, at six. Um, and I also realised that I was still writing at six when I was meant to stop at five two but I didn't so I ended up writing for 30 minutes instead and now I don't know when I'm gonna get back to writing but obviously I'm gonna have my dinner before I'm gonna have my dinner before getting back to writing I almost lost train of my thought there it is now about 25 to 10 and I obviously have to keep it down now don't know if you can tell but I'm just a little just a little exhausted because I've pretty much spent the majority of the afternoon and the evening writing 
<laughs> which literally drained the life out of me but I have been really into my story like a lot like a lot more recently I don't know if any of you I don't know if I said anything about that but I've just been really into it and I'm getting like so close to the end but I feel like there's just so much more that needs to happen but anyway I have just been doing a little bit of math or maths because I kind of wanted to figure out like my my stats for the day kind of not really uh, how many words I've written today and how long I've been writing for and then I also do want to mention um, the th parts that I managed to get done so I actually managed what to complete uh, chapter 15 scene 1 um, scene 2 and then I completed a chapter 16 as well and I'm now on chapter 17 about I would say about a quarter of the way through that but I, c I can just never predict how long my chapters are going to be the total amount of time that I wrote for was three hours and 20 minutes which actually comes to 200 minutes exactly I wrote 4487 words so this is like my best writing day yet and I just kind of wish I had more days like this that was my day it's been a good day a productive day and I'm now tired so I'm gonna sign off here and I'm, I don't think I'm going to vlog tomorrow, we'll see, I don't know when I'm next going to vlog, but soon, I'll see you soon. Good evening everyone, so it's Sunday the 9th of, why did I just think October? I don't know, but it's January. My plans for this evening are to get some writing done, quite obvi obviously. I need to actually check my to-do list. Okay, so I've checked my video schedule, done that. And now I've completed my um my daily goal, because my daily goal is like five goals. It's like five tasks, sorry. Um, and I have two more for today to complete. So I need to finish chapter 17, ideally. And I need to move on to chapter 18.
everyone. So, it is Monday the 10th of February, and tonight, okay, so I'm on chapter 18, and my battery, I've got one bar of battery left, which should have charged my camera this morning. It is now about quarter to seven and I've been wanting to write for the last 45 minutes but I guess I've just been procrastinating because that's what I like to do but I've had a long day it's been a long day but I do really need to get into writing in about five minutes um also I don't know if anyone noticed but like I managed to fill all of this side and I'm now on the other side and this, I think, will probably be the third one I fill up. And hopefully I don't need to print off another one. Because if I do, then I have to change the date on it. Or I say the date, I mean the year. Because it's not 2019 anymore. I'm making good progress, um, I think, I hope. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I don't know how long I've been using the app for. But I recently like downloaded and installed Todoist, which if you don't know, is like a to-do list app type thing. You're probably like, oh, can't you just like use Google Keep for that? I was thinking that earlier too. But the thing is, Todoist has like, you know, you can list all of the things that you need to get done um, and on what days. And I think it says, yeah, so in the next seven days, I have 31 tasks to complete. And today I've got two, which is just writing stuff. 31 tasks in the next seven days is a lot, but a lot of it is college stuff. I have deadlines to be hitting. I'm so close to finishing um, my next kind of like big project. I'm just really enjoying it because you know you can obviously see what you need to do in the next seven days your different priorities as well you can have create like different projects in here so the project projects that I've got are YouTube writing college cleaning and self-care so I have a feeling writing might change to scale up the skies because once I start working on stick stones and broken bones again I will need I will need a clear distinction between the two but that's all I've got so far and then you've just got different priorities so priority one priority two priority three and priority four which are self-explanatory so I'm not gonna talk about it I don't want to talk about it too much in this video either because I do want to do like a whole separate video on it in the future at some point god knows when what are my writing tasks for today? Today, I actually need to finish part three of chapter 18 and start on... Am I on chapter 18? I am, aren't I? So that means that's meant to be start chapter 19. Brilliant. It is five to eight. And I've been a little thrown off of my writing schedule because I've got a call from my boyfriend so you know these things happen life gets in the way and I hate it my laptop also crashed on me so I had to uh, restart it but restart with forcing it to shut down I'm actually gonna be listening to music like I always do when I'm writing my hands are actually very cold like I need something like writing gloves or something like that maybe that's something I ask for for my birthday I do have a row already filled out on here but I am just going to go ahead and change the time the time slot because obviously I didn't start at 1925 I'm going to be starting at 8 which is in three minutes so I get this over and done with Tonight, the time has been going really 
really slowly and I kind of just feel like um, writing is actually a really slow tonight however I am wanting to just get like one more session out of me before I go to bed because I actually do should probably take my hair down now because it's been up like this for the last few hours and I just honestly don't know what I'm doing with my hair anymore. I don't know if this makes sense. I didn't know it fall apart. I just knew it was you I wanted. It was you I wanted from the start. And you gave me. Evening, afternoon, I don't know. <laughs> like, it is 20 to 5, it is Wednesday, 12th of February, so we have just a few more days until Valentine's Day, which, to be honest, me and my boyfriend are not doing much. We're literally just ordering food because I finish work at, well, I should finish work at 8, but I'll probably finish at about 20 past and I start at half two so there is a no chance of making food and my boyfriend also has college so this evening I'm going to be getting some writing done I did write a little bit last night even though Tuesdays generally aren't my writing my writing days writing nights I think I only got 344 words as well Last night, I probably did something a little bit irrational and I went ahead and just put NA next to chapter 19, scene 1 and 2. And I'm thinking over it now because I originally thought that, you know, I didn't need to film them. Film them? I didn't need to write them because I really need it to move, I really need the story to move faster, but then... I feel like I need to write it because, you know, um, Emily's slow decline <laughs> um, to rock bottom. I am actually going to write them and I'm actually just going to see how much I can get written tonight but I think I'm actually going to have dinner first just because I've been getting into the habit of having dinner first so I have the rest of the evening to get my work done. Yeah, that's going to be the plan. I'm guessing you'll probably want to know why I feel so great. So I have technically been writing for the last hour because it's now currently almost five to seven um, and I haven't actually started writing my first draft yet but I have been writing a new song um, and it has been a while since I've been able to actually finish a song, so I feel like I've, I've already achieved something, I feel really good, but obviously I haven't written my first draft yet, and I need to do that. However, I also need to write my boyfriend's Valentine's card, so I think... I'm probably going to get that out of the way. I haven't done any Pomodoros yet today. Um, but I am just going to go ahead and get um, writing my boyfriend's Valentine's card out of the way. Then I probably won't start writing until, until about, I want to say 10 past 7. <laughs>
Okay, so good morning everyone. It is Friday the 14th of February, which means it's Valentine's Day. Love is in the air. It's not, obviously it's not currently for me, <laughs> because I have worked this evening until about 8, so I don't get much of a Valentine's Day, but me and my boyfriend are celebrating this evening. He's coming down after, like, I finished work, and... We're spending tonight and pretty much all of tomorrow together. <sighs> but the thing is, we're not really celebrating Valentine's Day or tomorrow because our anniversary, our one year anniversary is in exactly a month. So we're both more looking forward to that and celebrating that more than Valentine's Day and plus we can save more money for it. Because it's Valentine's Day, and it's a Friday, I got paid today, so I can actually go up to the shop and get my boyfriend some chocolate because I've got him a card, but I really want to get him a little something because we usually have junk food <laughs> um, when like we're together. So I'm actually going to be popping up to the shop. So, it's half nine, I'm back, and I have to admit, I did a little bit more damage than I thought I would have done because I actually ended up spending 20 quid which what do you think about it <laughs> on junk food that's bad anyway I've got my food all down here might as well show you got some Doritos some a share bag of Space Raiders I got I got these Jacob's Cracker Crisp thingies. Um, these are for myself, so I can try them and see what they're like. I got my boyfriend some After Eights because I know he likes them. I got two packs of single, like Jaffa cakes. Um, I got some Tuck biscuits, also not just for my boyfriend but for us to share. Some wine gums. Some Mawam Stripes. I haven't had these in a while. For some reason, I am getting back into sweets. I've got some Fridge Raiders. They're just chicken bites. Cadbury Dairy Milk Egg and Spoon. I didn't pick up the Oreo ones. I'm so frustrated. I got some pepperonis. I was meant to pick up the Oreo ones, but for some reason, I just I keep doing this. I've got some hot chocolate which actually needs to go some options, Belgian chocolate. That was on offer, by the way, that's why I got it. I've then just got a bottle of water for myself for work, which was only like 65p. And then I've just got some ice cream for both me and my boyfriend. And now that I am home, one thing I didn't do was take my bins out before I left. So, I'm gonna do it now. It is overflowing. To this point, yes. It's horrible. <laughs> So and now I've journaled, which you just saw. It is 10 o'clock, so it's 10 o'clock. It's surprising because on like these type of days, they just go by so quickly. It comes to a point where I have my lunch at like 11 and then I write in the afternoon. You know, time just passes so quickly and I've now just ticked a journal off on my to-do list so I only have two things left to do however it would be really nice to tidy and sort out my my junk drawer just because it is getting to a point where it's bad however there was something I was gonna say there has been 
something I've really wanted to talk about. One thing I've really wanted to talk about is kind of like, obviously, I'm making good progress on Scarlet Blood Skies. I am now on half term from college, so I finished yesterday and I don't go back to college until the, what is it, like the 20, no the 26th, I go back on the 26th, so I have a week and a bit to like finish this first draft, like I swear to god I, I need to get this done so badly, but here's the thing, once I've finished Scarlet Blood Skies, obviously I'll be giving myself like a week or two of rest and then I'll be doing a fast read through making loads of notes but during that time of like taking a break from it I do I don't really know what I want to outline obviously I've got stick stones and broken bones I've got the second book in the Scarlet Blood Skies kind of like series even though, like, because it's over a hundred thousand words at this point, it's, like, turning more into a standalone broken off into two books. Because, because if I did, like, the whole thing in one book, it would be, I think it would end up being, like, a hundred and eighty thousand words, which I don't want at all. That's why... I had to like split it into parts and I can just kind of like feel something in the camera moving because of how much I'm moving so I'm not going to keep talking about it for too long but once I have finished this first draft of the first part I would like start going back to stick stones and broken bones and working on that that is kind of the plan at the moment I know I don't like usually do this but in I think in March I've got another half term no it's April that I've got another half term because that's when Captain NaNoWriMo is as well but I actually I will be participating in Captain NaNoWriMo and I will be just be working on revisions of Scarlet Blood Skies because obviously I'll probably get started on the first like the first revision of Scarlet Blood Skies, probably the second week of March. So that will take me into April and possibly May as well. Um, and then I kind of really want that to be finished, the second draft, like May, June time. So then it will give me time to do some outlining of a different book, which I can then write in July and August. This is probably going to be in like a whole separate planning, I say planning, like my vision for the rest of the year with my writing. I'm probably going to do something like that at some point. <laughs>
So it is now about 25 to 12 and I am ready to get my lunch now. However, I did want to do like a quick update of what I've written already today. So I have already written 1,318 words. So I did two writing sessions, a 20 minute and a 15 minute. And in the 20 minute, I got 616 and then in the 15 minute, I got 702 so I'm obviously very much in the writing mood at the moment and I, I think I'm getting to the point where it's like bad guys are closing in but I'm not entirely sure because I haven't read like Save the Cat Writes a Novel for a few weeks so I'm a little bit out of touch with it. I'm at like the second half of the story so I think I've gotten past the bad guys close in and then I don't know what the order of the all is lost and dark night of the soul is. I think dark night of the soul comes before all is lost so I'm probably at like the dark night of the soul now most likely um, because it's another catalyst so I'm probably just a few a few pages away from that or a couple pages anyway. I'm really happy with the progress that I've made so far today and I will most likely do some more writing after lunch but I do also need to hoover. Don't know if you can tell but my voice is very croaky. I'm gonna do something about that in a minute. <laughs> Not that I can do much about it. Um, And I'm also I'm also very red because it got really hot in here because I put the heating on. I have been writing obviously I did my 20 minute and 15 minute session or sp like my sprints earlier it is now about 10 to 2 so I do need to start getting ready for work <laughs> really soon I have written for another 40 minutes I have completed all of my other tasks for the day so I've hoovered downstairs as well it's pretty good um, for the kind of morning I've had I've had a pretty slow morning um, pretty slow day to be honest so I wrote for another 45 minutes. I think I just accidentally, accidentally said 40. But I wrote for 45 and I managed to write something like, yeah, 961 words. I never actually calculated how many words I've written in total today then. Yeah, so I have written 2,279 words in total today, which I'm really happy with. And I'm on chapter 20, so I've got... Chapter 21, chapter 22, chapter 23. No, 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 because I did originally delete a chapter. I don't actually know, but maybe it is just 23 chapters now. Good morning, everyone. So it is Sunday the 16th of February. I actually realised that I have got a lot of footage for this vlog, so I just thought I'd, you know, come on here and just do a quick outro so <laughs> I have made a lot of progress with the first draft of Scarlet Blood Skies however because I overfilm so much I have so much footage all of the time which I always seem to end up breaking up into multiple different vlogs uh, but I think this is probably actually the first time that I've done that. I don't know why, but I just really enjoy writing vlogs, even though sometimes they can get a little bit repetitive with, you know, the B-roll that I get and, you know, all the things I talk about. Sometimes it can get a bit repetitive. So if you are, if you want to keep up to date with my writing journey, then my writing vlogs are like the best at like tracking and showing my journey however I do find that they get repetitive especially editing them but I don't mind as long as you guys enjoy them so I have actually been writing today and I have just finished chapter 20 and I've moved on to chapter 21 so I have chapter 21 chapter 22 23 and 24 left to do which I'm really excited about because I'm so close to the end however because this is basically the end of this vlog I will be doing another vlog another vlog because it is currently half term for me which basically means that I have a week and a bit off 
of college so I finished on the what was it the 13th so Thursday the 13th I finished and I go back on Wednesday the 26th in total that is 13 days however I do have work to do so as in work you know because I work in retail and then my boyfriend is coming over for um, from Tuesday night to Thursday Friday morning something like that I will then have work on the Friday and then I'll have Saturday to myself Sunday I, ha I do have work but I probably will get some writing done because the thing is I won't need to make my lunches then because I then have the Monday and Tuesday again to myself because staff development days like I said, if you want to stay up to date with my writing journey, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and ding the bell to be notified every single time I upload because, you know, my writing vlogs end up coming out sporadically, not necessarily on a Thursday, so be on the lookout for that. And also, if you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And I think that's pretty much all I can say. Don't forget, my social media links will be in the description down below for you to check out as well. On that note, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!